What's up guys? Alright, I got a really cool video for you guys today. So, I, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you guys how to make a trot line. This will be for big fish trot lines, such as Appaloosa Catfish, you know, High Thin Blue, uh, your bigger fish trot line. Now, some people do trot lines specifically for channel cat, you know, smaller smaller type, uh, smaller species of, of catfish, but these, we specifically are trying to catch big fish and a lot of them so i'm going to start out i'm going to show you guys what i'm using okay all all my, the hooks i'm using the swivels i'm using all that good stuff and uh i'm going to show you guys that okay guys so here we go i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what i got here okay so first thing is i have these number four barrel swivels okay Okay, number four barrel swivel, big heavy duty nice swivels. I got a hundred of these. Okay, the next thing I'll be the hooks I'll be using are a eight aught uh, spear point curvy hook. Now, is what this is. This is actually a so it's a blued steel eight aught offset hook okay that's what this is see you can see the offset see how it's offset a dot blued steel okay big heavy duty uh, it's blued so it's not gonna rust okay now you don't have to use you don't have to use a hook quite this big um, sometimes we go with seven or uh, six or seven on but I'm gonna go ahead and go with eight uh, I think we're gonna catch big fish this year. Um, I got a hundred of those. There's a hundred there. Now the line I got is black tarred line. Okay. Now this is size 60, uh, 285 feet, and it's a one pound uh, spool, and it's black tarred twisted nylon. Okay. It's not braided. It's just twisted nylon. Um, I've already used, and I actually, I had three rolls of that, by the way. There was three rolls before, but I've already made up one. This is what your finished product will look like. Okay, it's all rolled up nice. Okay, and something that I found that I don't like about this line is that it has some, okay, here's one right here. So it has some splices in it, and I don't particularly care for that. But uh, that's what I got. That's what we're going to use. And I'll let you guys know if it doesn't work out well. So I can give you a heads up on that. But uh, okay, so that's, the, that's your main line. Okay, that's your main line, size 60. Now what I use for my leaders is going to be a size 9 tarred. Okay, and it's just a twisted tarred line. Now the reason we go with tarred is because and that's 680 yards 2040 feet okay and that's going to be your leaders which is what's going to attach your hook to your line right okay so so the reason we go with the the tarred line is um you know it has a it has the potential to um rot if it doesn't have the tar on it the tar seems to help with uh, longevity quite a bit um, after years of use and this stuff isn't just real real cheap so that's why we go with the tarred line um, also on the size the, the size 60 line the the bigger line obviously for one because we're going to be running 15 to 20 hooks a line on some lines and we we need that to be strong but also it actually helps a lot with your hands when you're grabbing it and pulling on it and dealing with it you know it helps a lot with that to be bigger it just it seems like it doesn't cut into you as, as bad so that's one of the things there also i thought i would i thought i would show you guys that so yeah um the next step i'm going to go ahead and string one up and i'm going to show you guys exactly how to put this thing together exactly how to string everything up i'll show you how to make leaders i'm going to show you everything you need to know all the tips and tricks on how to catch big fish if you're where the big fish are right all right guys okay guys so what you're going to want to do for the leader is i have my have this number nine line you just want to take out enough 
I got my roll here, okay? It's not off the roll yet. I haven't cut it yet. You want to take your line and you want to and you want to double it over, okay? You're just going to double it over. See? And you just want to make about a foot, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect, but about a foot of line. Fourteen inches, foot, whatever it is. Doesn't have to be real perfect. Okay, so now I have. See, I have the two cut ends matching. It's folded in half, is all it is. Okay, now I'm going to take this end and I'm just going to tie it. And I'm sorry if you can't see this, it may not be focusing well. I'm just going to tie it. Okay, just like that. I just tied both both ends together. Okay, now I have a a loop basically, just a big loop. Okay. So now I'm going to take my double folded over end. I'm going to take one of my eight dot hooks. Put it through the eye. Okay. So, see how I got that? It's through the it's through the hook I'm just gonna loop it right back through okay see just like that now we have a leader okay that's what's gonna be hanging from the swivel okay now that's a little bit long. I don't like them that long. I'm actually going to cut that off a little bit. It only needs to be about a foot, probably. Probably about right. About right here. Kurt mentioned that <laughs> the way we do it is we hook them up on the side of the boat, the side of the uh, five-gallon bucket. And the way he mentioned it was um, that if the the line should just barely touch the bottom of the bucket. So I guess that's one way to. So anyway, yeah, and I've got my bucket here. So that's how you make a leader. I've got my bucket here. And I'm hanging them right there on the side of the bucket with my. That is the uh, insulation from like, you know, like pop insulation. It's got adhesive. But yeah, I just stick them right there on the in the bucket and the leaders sit down in there. I'll have my lines and stuff in there. All right, guys, let's go make a main line. Okay, guys, so we're out here. We're about to start the main line for you. Now, I'm going to have Kurt show you guys how to do this so I can film, okay? So the first step we're going to do is, Kurt, tell them what we got going. Well, we got our swivels here. Uh, we like to use the stainless steel barrel swivels. These here actually are uh, four alt. So as you can tell, there's a little barrel this little deal is connected in here it's, uh, and it'll be bent and that keeps that thing in there and it makes it swivel swivel so that's a lot better than them brass that are twisted and all that so that's that's probably the best swivel you can buy so we're going to count out 15 of them so it's going to be a 15 hook line main line So you just run your little line off the uh, spool there and you'll feed all your swivels on. Alright, so we got all of our swivels on. You'll find you like a a telephone pole like we got here behind us that's what we're going to use you can do a t-post or anything you can use a carport post or whatever we'll go ahead and tie this on here that's just to hold that up there and then we like to run that first hook a little bit off the bank so we'll Get about two arms lengths. About two arm spans. We do a full 
full arm span twice is what you do to get get off the bank. Let me get you guys out of the sun here. So we're going to make a loop here for an entire first knot. We like to uh, double it up. So your bottom line's under. So we'll go to the top. We'll do that twice. We'll pull all these swivels up and back through. We'll do that twice. And we'll make our first knot. We want to make sure all these swivels kind of get down behind the knot. And then, you know, once you... Once you get on down the line, it'll get a little easier. You ain't got so many swivels to kind of keep up with and push behind you. But there's our first knot right there. Kind of pull that tight. So that's our first knot. That swivel won't go past that knot. And then we'll tie our second knot. No. All right, do it nice and slow for him, Kurt. Show him what you're doing here. So you'll tie your second knot. Right about here. Inch, about an inch away from. You want it about an inch away. And you'll pull all that stuff through. You'll leave that one swivel there. One swivel at a time. You'll double that knot. And you'll put all them swivels on this side of the knot and that one swivel left there. And I like to take my hand and I put it behind that knot and I hold my thumb there and I pull and that'll slide that knot down toward that swivel. And then when you get that thing about right there, you can just pull it tight and it'll be about an inch away and that'll be perfect. That'll hold that swivel in place. You can give it a little tug and it's perfect. That swivel's not going nowhere. That way when you got a fish on, he's got that much travel and that it's not going to go nowhere. And then we're just going to repeat that about 15 more times. We'll be done with this line. So he's going one arm, one arm span, wing span away from from this one. He's going, he's going one arm uh, wing span. I want to say arm span. <laughs> he's going one wing span away to make his next not we got one of these damn splices and there's a splice there and like i said i'm gonna tell you guys how we like them splices i don't feel like we're going to at all uh we might not ever have to use this line again as a matter of fact looks like we're he's having some trouble here with the getting the uh, swivels past it because of all the the excess line from the uh, splice. All right guys, we're halfway on this line. We got about seven, uh, seven swivels laid out. We're about halfway now, so we're gonna uh, come another arm's length, what we've been uh, spacing the hooks out at. We're gonna make a uh, loop. And this will be about uh, midways on the line. And this will be where your weight goes. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna double this line up like this. You're just gonna tie a little loop in the middle of the line. And that's where your weight's gonna go. Just like that right there. And uh, you'll put it on the same way we put our hooks on. Or there's, there's tons of ways to do it. Uh, you can get a little clip, you can clip it on. You could actually uh, just put a swivel here, just like we've done the rest of the hooks, and put a clip on the swivel. You know, it's just preference and all that. It don't really matter as long as you got a weight on there to pull this line down for the hooks to get a little deeper and fish. So, we got our loop in. That's the middle of the line. And uh, we got our first seven hooks on. Now we're ready to make uh, the rest of this line. Okay guys, we've got the whole line completed, 15 hooks, there's our middle mark, okay, now 
Kurt, show them what we're going to do here on the end when we get to our last swivel where our hook will, our last hook will be. Here's where our last hook will be. It'll be about the same as uh, how we done our first hook. We're going to go uh, two arm lengths away from the last hook and then, then that's where we will cut the line. That way your start point and your end point will be kind of off the bank. So you ever have to tie up in the brush, you still, you won't lose that first hook. So you want to leave enough from the, from both ends to where we won't have to tie that first hook up in the bushes or something like that. And you won't be able to use it or anything. So once we do that, we'll just cut it. We'll tie a little knot on the both ends to keep it from coming unraveled. Which uh, Michael done explained or should have already explained. The reason why we use this tarred line, it, uh, it don't come unraveled very easily. Like uh, most of your line, it lasts a lot longer. And if I recall, the last time I actually uh, built drop lines, besides just replacing one here and there, I was in high school. And, and to this day, I graduated in 2007. And to this day, I still got trot lines that I use every year because of this right here, you know. And them lines are over 10 years old. You know, they're 13 years old. And I still use them lines every day. You know, they're black tarred line and they last forever. You know, unless they just get run over by a boat cut or just something's a, something absolutely happens to them catastrophically, they're not going nowhere. They're 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 built to last. You know, and uh, I'm sure he's told y'all about the reason we use the bigger line here. Because when you're pulling on that main line, if you're using a smaller line, it'll cut into your hands. So if you got a bigger bigger line, when you're pulling on it, it's a little softer on your hands and all that. And then our drops, we'll use a little bit smaller line. That way we do get hung up while we're fishing. You know, you can pull on that line and you might lose a hook or something like that, but at least you'll be able to break that hook. It's ir it's replaceable. You know, it, it, it takes a few seconds to replace it. It takes a long time to make a, main make, a, line. make a new main line and put all your swivels and stuff like that on there. So we always go with a big main line and a small drop just in case we get hung up we can you know break that hook break that uh drop or whatever and then uh we still got our main line you know all right you want to show them what it looks like when we got it all set up with our leaders dropped and everything yeah we'll uh we'll tie these this dude out and we'll drop our hooks on and uh all that and we'll show you why we uh stretch it out as tight as we can before we put a weight on because uh once you put this once you stretch this line out it seems like if you put a weight on it it don't drop very far but i promise you a little five pound weight will pull this thing down pretty low and that's one reason we've always i've always stressed to michael you know tie that thing up tight because it's gonna it's gonna go down low and we don't want no loose line that's going down river all right guys so kurt kurt's gonna go out here and show you he's got his he's got this line nice and tight I mean, that thing's nice and tight and he's going to explain to you why you want a real nice and tight line so i've always uh explained it like this you stretch that line out across the water real tight you kind of want it to sound like a little bow string or a guitar string or something like that that way when you clip that weight on it pulls it down now you don't think that weight's going to pull that line down very far if it's really really tight but it's gonna pull it a lot further down than you, what you think. So here's a little demonstration of, and needless to say, we ain't got enough space here that that weight's gonna drop it all the way down. So you're gonna fish at all different depths. That's what a trot line does. So pull that line tight and it's gonna go a lot further than that. That's probably a little less than five pounds pulling on that line. You know, when you add water and all that, it's going to lose a little weight. But five pounds is plenty. And if you stretch that line out, it's got a lot of play in that line. It'll pull that line down to the depth that you need to fish. All right, Kurt, show us a, a, a leader demonstration. 
Alright, so for a long time we've always used uh, these uh, easy clips. You know, you just clip them on here, run through a swivel, and they clip on. And that's real simple and easy, especially when you get that uh, fish on there that's really hard to get off. You can just unclip and throw them in the boat and worry about it later. You know, so there's also this setup where it's quick and easy too. You just got your leader, you got your hook, and you got your drop. And that's all you got, you know, you just run it through the swivel. You spread that line, you pull your hook through the middle of it, and just pull it down. And it's it's not going nowhere. And it's replaceable too. It's not as fast as the easy clip, but I mean that, that hook is replaceable, you can get it off. It might be hard to get off if you got a 50 pound fish on it, but it's easy to get off. You know, especially if you just got to replace the hook or something like that. It's it's replaceable. Uh, you don't have to take your swivel off. So your main line, your drop, your hooks. I mean, you can your main line, your main line, and you can replace everything on it if it need be. So they're quick and easy to put on, and that's the way we've always done it. All right, guys. So uh, hey. I sure appreciate Kurt helping me out with the uh, trot lines. Um, well, we know Michael couldn't get it done by himself oh. because uh, he's always had me to back him. Oh. <laughs> so, hey, I tell you what, guys. Though Kurt has taught me a whole, whole bunch of uh, a whole, whole lot of this stuff. We, I we started a whole lot because uh, I've been trying for what's going on about 20 years now to show him how to uh, tie a slip knot. <laughs> yeah. So, so, but anyway, guys, we started this way back in high school in his dad's boat. Uh, I mean, we've 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 been through, we've done a lot a lot of fishing in our days. I mean, since since we were old enough to, to back a, a boat into the water, you know, and uh, we've done a lot of this stuff. But anyway, guys, the next time you see this trot line that we just got strung up, hopefully it's gonna have some big old blues and some Appaloosa catfish hanging from it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know we're not professionals at this, but hey, we tried to be informational, trying to show you guys how to catch big fish. If you want to do it everybody's always got their own ways of doing it some people have a better way this is just the way we always find proficient for us you know so I try I try if anybody's got any ways that they suggest they do it you know let us know you know right. we ain't out to try uh, we love to try new things you know so if you got a better way of setting up a trot line and uh, all that yeah leave know, it in the comments leave it in the comments below that'd be great if you, if you guys have some different tricks uh, you know something of that sort yeah let us know uh we, we we always like to learn new stuff but this is what's been more efficient for us and this is what's helped us catch big fish so uh yeah hey we're gonna get up here we're gonna cook some uh what are we cooking Kurt? pork chops some, uh, hamburgers pork chops hamburgers and uh stuffed jalapeno peppers all right we're gonna get up there and, and get the grill rolling and uh hey guys make sure you like and subscribe i'm telling you some big fish fix to come on this channel love y'all